My Cuyahoga County government can move ahead with its transformation plan. The pieces are in place. The candidates have been elected. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty tells us what happens now. Lee, I talked to a member of the transition team today. He told me he wishes there was a magic switch on the wall that he could flip and everything would go smoothly. Instead, he said that experts are telling him to expect a period of chaos. Good job. Thank you for joining us. The days of the county commissioners are nearly over. On January 1st, these nameplates will be gone and replaced by 11 council people and this man, Ed Fitzgerald, as the county executive. I'm meeting with someone from the Fitzgerald campaign to begin to talk specifics about the transition. County Administrator Jim McCafferty is one of three members of the county's transition team. He says step one is moving the newly appointed council temporarily to this downtown Cleveland office space, and it's right to work. Talk about some meetings that are coming up that be very important for to be involved in, discuss with them the orientation program we have set up for the new county council. McCafferty showed me the itinerary. The orientation will be classroom style at CSU. Day one, council will discuss how to hold their meetings. Hopefully there will be a bit of a honeymoon period where they'll be able to work things out, but it will be literally who's going to what office, phone extensions, computer equipment, all those nuts and bolts kinds of things. And the changes to be discussed are vast. Formerly elected positions like the coroner or the sheriff of Cuyahoga County will now be appointed and overseen by Fitzgerald. Same with the auditor, treasurer, engineer, court reporter, and the clerk of courts. Some of it's more art than science. We'll be sitting down with uh, Mr. Fitzgerald and his folks to determine what uh, structure he's most comfortable with, which one he wants to pursue, and then we'll start to put that in place for him. So the goal is to keep the ball rolling into the new year, meaning council members as well as Mr. Fitzgerald will have to know the ins and outs of current projects the commissioners are working on now, like the Medical Mart, the Gateway Project, works with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, uh, the Towpath, and that's just to name a few. So that's just the beginning. A lot of work to do, a lot of things to become familiar with, and only about two months to do so. Reporting live tonight, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5.